Rectamoksha, Bloodletting. It is 1 ml 5 purificatory measures, that is Panjashodhana. If the diseases are not cured by Panjagarma therapy, Rectamoksha can be tried. It is very suitable in Rectapragobaja diseases. Different techniques are mentioned in classics for Rectamoksha. Jalagavjarana, Prachana, Sringavajarana, and Siravyada are commonly practiced Rectamoksha techniques. Jalagavajarana. In Pitta predominant condition, leeches are applied. If the diseases are deep seated and tumor form, Jalagajarana is the best choice. The best leech is purified in water with turmeric powder. It increases the activity of leech. Mark the site and mouth of leech is placed on vitiated area. Usually it sticks on that area, but sometimes needle prick is needed. If it sucks properly, the middle portion gets elevated assuming shape of a horseshoe, that is, neck will be in V shape. A wet cotton piece is to be kept over the leech to promote suction. When leech suck vitiated blood to its maximum capacity, it automatically leaves the body. Sometimes rock salts or turmeric powder is kept near the mouth of leech to relieve easily. The wound of the patient is to be cleaned and bandage is to be applied. The leech is to be placed in a pot and Haridra powder is sprinkled over the leech. Usually it vomits the blood. If it does not vomit completely, the hind portion should be held by left hand in between the thumb and finger and it should be slowly and gently squeezed beginning from tail to head by thumb and finger at right hand. When vomiting is completed, it is left in a vessel of pure water. If the leech is healthy, it moves briskly. If it sunk down in water and shows sluggish movements, it should be again be made to vomit. The leech can again be used after 7 days. Jalagaljarana is indicated in various skin diseases, Vidradi, Arsha, Netra Roga, etc. Prachana It is puncturing with blade if blood is vitiated over a local area. The site of lesion and adjoining body part is cleaned at first. Tie with tourniquet or bandage cloth above the site of prachana for getting maximum pressure. Pricks are made in specific distance with uniform pressure force. Pricking should be started from the downward area to upward area and it neither very deep nor very wide. The oozing blood should be wiped off with cotton or a blunt instrument. When bleeding stops, the tourniquet is removed and the area is cleaned. Japyadigrida is applied for healing. Prachana is indicated in localized and condensed vitiation of blood, especially in wet eczema and different types of other skin diseases. Sringavajarana Application of horn or funnel and vacuum apparatus for sucking of blood is called Sringavajarana. It is mainly applied in condition of vitiated blood by Vada and Pitta. Local Abhyanga and Svedana are to be done to improve circulation. Mark the affected area and clean it. Incisions should be made in equal distance with surgical blade. Then widest end of Sringa is placed over that area and air is sucked out through the nipple shaped end. Profuse blood flow occurs from incisions. Shake the Sringa to prevent coagulation of blood. After removing Sringa, the area is cleaned with cotton and bandage is done with Jatyadigrida. It is indicated in numbness, 
low backache and the condition of vitiated blood especially due to vada and pitta. Modified Siravyada Technique Siravyada is one important therapy indicated in vitiation of blood throughout the body. It was not popularized because of the rough nature of procedure and lack of expertization. Dr. Mohan Kumar, retired professor of Vaidaratna Ayurveda College, Ollur, developed a modified technique of Siravyada which is easily practicable without complication. Patient should lie on the table. Select the vein to be punctured. Tourniquet is to be tied tightly above the site of puncture. The area is cleaned with spirit and cotton. The needle of scalp vein set is to be inserted to the desired point of vein. The flowing blood is collected in a beaker containing anticoagulant. When blood flow reduces, remove the tourniquet and scalp vein set. Bandage the area and the patient is advised to take rest for 15 minutes. Siravyada is indicated in varicose pain, varicose ulcer, burning sensation, numbness, discoloration, skin diseases, chronic non-healing ulcer, neurological disorders, etc. It is contraindicated in anemia, low hypertension, severe chronic diseases, thrombocytopenia, etc. Before performing any rectamoksha karma, blood examination is to be carried out. Hemoglobin level, clotting time, bleeding time, ESR level, blood sugar, etc. are to be examined. Blood pressure and pulse rate is also to be noted before and after the procedure.